Alright guys, so I'm going to be going over the packages now. Uh, I might have fast forwarded the video at the start because I already did the opening as you can already see. The problem was is that I went off and had my GoPro set in the case. So the audio quality was obviously really crappy. So I'm gonna, I already had the auction separated. So we're going to go over this one. This is the last auction that I actually got. Or I should say open. So I ended up getting this Nintendo DS Lite works and everything uh pokemon fire red pokemon crystal uh the battery works but it'll probably need to be replaced and for some reason it actually says uh mystery gift in it so obviously this is kind of weird like i didn't know that pokemon crystal could actually get mystery gifts and uh the nintendo ds Lite charger which is pretty damn cool i got this all for 30 bucks so uh that was a steal okay so, you're going to be looking over at here. This is Pokemon uh, Silver version, Pokemon Fire Red. We have Pokemon Platinum with Pokemon Leaf Green. And Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition, which is a very nice game. And it's in pretty much gem mint condition. So, that's really awesome. So, this was a really good auction. All right, so we have these games right here, and every single one of them, except for Super Mario Baseball and Luigi's Mansion, have been butter knifed. If you're not familiar with the saying, pretty much it means that you took a butter knife to the disc, went back and forth several hundred times, and then that is the condition of the disc. So I'm going to be showing you guys... Luigi's Mansion, as you can see here, it has fingerprints and everything on it. And overall, it's in pretty damn good condition. Like these games, these two games right here, they look like they weren't played. Because if they were played by the person who owned these games right here, they would not be working. So let's look at the Mario Parties. Alright guys, so I'm going to be going over the Mario Party games that were scratched. Uh, pretty much I went off and was showing you guys the discs in the previous video and I bumped the GoPro so the GoPro was recording like only half of the discs so you couldn't really see anything and also the scratches were really hard to tell. So let me take the games out of the case. So hopefully you can see that. That's pretty much what it is all over the... Uh, the disc all right that should uh that should definitely pick everything up so i hope you guys can see this but you might not be able to pretty much it looks like someone just took a, a butter knife and destroyed the game i'll show you guys the other discs i'll try to go a little bit faster so obviously if you weren't able to see that one then you're not going to be able to see the rest okay and if you're seeing like a few scratches, that's how it is around the entire disc. It's just that the light isn't refracting off of the disc, so you're not able to actually see the scratches. That is why if I was to post these on eBay right now and take a picture of them, the discs would look like they're in gem mint condition, even knowing they're absolutely destroyed like this. Because unless you take a picture with a flash on it, it won't show up. So that is a major problem with buying uh, video games is that unless the seller goes and gives you a picture with a flash on it, you can't really tell the condition of the game. Uh, as you can see here, this Mario Sunshine is absolutely destroyed. Uh, the Mario Parties did start up, but they got uh, two of them got a disc error and then one of them I played for a little bit and... It ended up getting a disc error a little later on. I want to say like one lasted like 20 minutes. The other ones lasted like five minutes. It, but uh, this Mario Sunshine can't even make it the title menu. If you can see right there, it looks like you literally took a butter knife and just... Uh, it looks really bad. It actually does look like a butter knife mark. Not even joking. Because it's like in a straight line. So obviously it must have been cut with some sharp object. Or been used as a frisbee. It's usually what it is. And uh, this Mario Kart Double Dash is also extremely, extremely scratched. 
So uh, these discs were labeled as in from very good condition to good condition. Uh, the Mario Baseball and Luigi's Mansions are like gem mint condition, but I think that's because they weren't actually played. And for yard sale finds today, we found Super Mario Strikers Charged and Super Smash Bros. Brawl. The Brawl has a few marks on it, not too many. And I got these both for $8, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I don't think Brawl has a manual, but uh, Super Mario Strikers Charged does have the manual. And it was also priced at $39 at GameStop. Which this is actually a fairly expensive game and this is like a $20 game. So I ended up making uh, some decent basically trades or I should say buys at a yard sale. Uh, overall, it was a really good day. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe and peace out.